This video is sponsored by Flux Aqua Live Screens, the ultimate aquarium backgrounds. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I hope you're doing well. The last time I made a video about my favorite nano fish was a long time ago, April 2020, when I just started my YouTube channel. So it's about time we do another one. This time I made the list a little bit bigger, so in no particular order, here's my 15 favorite nano fish for freshwater planted tanks. The first one on the list is the Amber Tetra. This one is a favorite of many people, beautiful bright orange nano fish, very easy to keep, very hardy as well, and the average lifespan is like 4 years. And obviously they look great in planted tanks because of the orange and green contrast. The second one on the list is the Gold Ring Danio. I have these guys for a few months now and they are definitely a new favorite of mine. Not super colorful, but they have this very nice pattern on their body with some blue and some yellow, looks really good. Again a very hardy fish, easy to keep. They will eat pretty much everything and unlike other Danios that grow a bit too big for nano tanks, these guys only grow to a max size of 3cm. Next up we have pygmy quarries. If you have been on the channel for some time you know I'm a big fan of these little quarries. They are so fun to watch and in my shallow tank they were a little shy because of the bright light and very little hiding places. But since I let the background plants grow tall the quarries seem to be getting more and more comfortable. I would definitely advise to keep these in a large group of at least 10 but preferably more. On number 4 we have another pygmy cori, this time the Corridoras hastatus, also known as tailspot pygmy cori. Very similar to the pygmaeus, but from my experience these guys are like the least bottom dwelling cori. I see them mostly occupying sort of like the middle, the middle of the water level. Again make sure you keep these guys in a large group if you really want them to be comfortable. Now there is one more type of dwarf quarry, I just didn't put it on the list because it gets slightly bigger but if you have like a 15 gallon you could also consider the salt and pepper quarry. Also very cute, but they just need a bit more space. Number 5 is one of my all time favorites, Dario Dario, more commonly known as the Scarlet Bades. There's a good chance that when you see these guys in the store you'll walk right past them because they're usually not very colorful. But once you add them to a planted tank, these guys will color up beautifully. One downside with these fish is that they are usually only males for sale. And too many males in a small tank will often lead to some aggression. Next up we have the bigger brother of this scarlet bodice, the Dario Black Tiger or Dario species Myanmar. So the scarlet badass only grows to like 2 cm, these guys grow slightly bigger, max size is like 3.5 cm. Same situation though, not very often you will see females for sale, but still a very beautiful and very fun to watch nano fish. Both of these types of Dario are quite picky when it comes to food by the way, they usually only go for live or frozen food. I always keep them with cherry shrimp or other shrimp that multiply quickly, so these fish can kind of hunt the shrimp babies and make sure the shrimp colony doesn't grow too fast. Before we continue, just a quick word from today's sponsor. So what I have here are some beautiful light screens from Flux Aqua. These are light screens for any type of aquarium, fresh water, salt water, planted tanks, doesn't matter. On the left we have the Chroma Edition. This one is RGB, has a built-in app, timers, schedulers, everything. And on the right we have the newly released Competition Edition. This one was highly requested by Competition Aquascapers. It's pure white, 35% brighter and has a manual dimmer. Now both of these are super slim, only 10 mm thick, they can be custom made for any size aquarium and the build quality is really good. 
I would say the customer support is excellent, so go ahead and order your live screen today. On number 7 we have the red neon blue eye rainbow fish. These guys tick all the boxes. They are small, maximum size is 3.5 cm. They are beautiful, especially the males have a bright orange color with a bright blue stripe on their back. And they are also fun to watch. The males will often like compete with each other for female attention and that's really cool to see. Next we basically have number 7 but in yellow, so number 8 is this spotted blue eye. Another beautiful fish, very easy to keep, not picky at all when it comes to food. But one thing I'll say about these fish, they can be very active. If you want a fish that just kind of swims peacefully in your aquarium, then this is not the one. They are constantly interacting with each other and the male are often chasing each other which is fun but can get a bit too much at times. Number 9 is a fish that I got myself recently, and they are Endler Guppies. They are a little bit smaller than regular guppies, which makes them even better for nano tanks. These days you can buy them in a bunch of different colors with different tail shapes. These guys have a beautiful yellow tail with some black stripes, so these are called Tiger Endlers. Super easy fish, perfect for beginners. Next up is my favorite algae eater. On number 10 we have Olosynclus. I just love them because they are super helpful against algae and they are fun to watch as well. There are days where they don't really move around much and some days they are just constantly busy scraping algae off the rocks, off the glass and everything else. Ok 5 left. For the next one I just wrote down Dwarf Rasbora, because there are so many different types and I love them all. The Mosquito Rasbora is definitely the most colorful, currently I have the Phoenix Rasbora which looks very similar, just a little less colorful. And then I think there's like 3 or 4 more species, just a great fish for those really small aquariums. Number 12, the sparkling gourami. This is another fish that you'll probably skip when you see them in the store, but really do yourself a favor and buy a few of them. They're such a colorful fish with great personality. They can be a little aggressive when you have too many males in one tank. Ideally, they all have their own small territory. And of course, not to forget, these guys make sound as well. So maybe not the best option if you have the tank in your bedroom, because they will keep you up at night. Number 13 is a very popular fish, I'm talking about the Celestial Pearl Daniel, arguably one of the best looking nano fish. The combination of the blue body with the bright red fins is just stunning. They can be a bit shy at times, but if you have a densely planted tank, they usually feel quite comfortable. Number 14 is the Green Neon Tetra. They should have been called Blue Neon Tetra, but I guess that would have been too confusing. These guys are very similar to the classic Cardinal Tetra, but they stay a lot smaller. I think people sometimes underestimate how big an adult Cardinal Tetra can grow. The Blue Neon Tetra is much better suitable for a nano tank, but still I wouldn't keep these guys in anything smaller than 10 gallons. And the last one on the list, number 15, is the clown killifish. I only ever had these guys once, 
and I was not aware that they were very skilled jumpers, so I lost most of them. So if you're planning on keeping these, I would definitely suggest a tank with a lid. But yeah, just a really fun fish to keep. The males have this really beautiful tail with lots of red and blue, and this is a fish that will mostly swim around the top layer of your aquarium. Also floating plants is a must with these guys, they will really appreciate that. And that was all 15 of my favorite nano fish. I hope this video will help you decide in choosing some nice inhabitants for your next nano aquascape or planted tank. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done this yet. Also don't forget to check out the beautiful live screens from Flux Aqua. Guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.